Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and today is my thankful Thursday and it's also my birthday. Love that my birthday fell on my thankful Thursday which I host here on my channel. Yes that's right God has gifted me another year and I just wanted to show my face real quick so you guys can see me on my birthday. I know I'm not wanted to be able to see me on my birthday so today is my birthday and I get to share a birthday baby with you guys. I'm doing a blanket reveal and yeah, just having a great day today on my birthday. I am 48 years old today, you guys, and I feel like I'm 20, you know, doing this ketogenic diet and the way I keep myself healthy and everything. Um, I can't thank God enough for all he's done for me. And yeah, just enjoying my birthday. Yesterday was Minnie's birthday and I would have stuck a little video up of her. We always do something special for her. Me and her share our birthday very close together. That's my dog. And so, yeah. But anyways, we're going to be doing a blanket reveal of this beautiful baby. I got it through an artist I really wanted. And I just feel blessed to own this baby. And you'll see why I'll be doing a gender reveal, a name reveal, all of that. Um, and just the outfit it came in and everything. And then I'll be doing a changing video with the baby and all that later. But, oh, I'm excited. I could not wait to open this baby, though, until my birthday. I got it a couple days before my birthday. I just had to see it, enjoy it, and um, just, yeah. So we're doing a blanket reveal with this one. But we're going to start with God. Billy Graham, Wisdom for Each Day. Let's see what God has for December 14th, my birthday. It's called Living in Harmony. And, boy, we sure need to live in harmony, don't we, you guys? This one is 1 Peter 3, 8 through 9. Finally, all of you live in harmony with one another. Be sympathetic, love as brothers, be compassionate and humble, because to, to this you were called. Have you ever asked yourself why some people aren't interested in becoming Christians? There are many reasons, of course, running the um, gamut from violent rebellion against God to ignorance of the gospel. But if you look, if you, I mean, but if you took a poll of people, you and I pass every day on the street, Many would say that the main reason they aren't attracted to the Christian faith is show no love or compassion. Still, others show little concern for the world and its problems. Most of all, they'll point out Christians can't seem to get along with each other. Why should we believe in Christ, they say, when he doesn't seem to make any difference in the lives of his followers? Some of what they say isn't valid, but some of it is, and it should be a rebuke to those of us who claim to follow Christ. But our primary calling is to, dem uh, to demonstrate to an unbelieving world that love and transforming power of Jesus Christ do others see him in you. Amen, you guys. That's what it is. We need our fellow Christians out there and people that don't believe to see the Christianity in us. We all are sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. But you still will see a true Christian and how their actions are and how they act. There's been plenty of days that people would probably not even believe I was a Christian. I'm not going to lie. Why lie? God knows the truth. There's days that I have bad days. I do. I'm human. And I afterwards, I feel guilty and think, wow, that person could not even believe I'm a Christian. There's no way. Why did I talk that way? Why did I act that way? You know, things like that happen, you guys, in our life. But we need to show Christ through us. He, he needs to be shining through us. And we need to show that Christ does live in us and that we're living our life correctly. And that's all I want to do for God is to live the best that I can for him. And I make mistakes. I'm human. I live in a glass house just like each and every one of you. We all live in glass houses. Why Jesus came to die on the cross for us because we were all bound for hell. None of us deserve, you know, deserve heaven. Not a one of us deserve heaven. But thank you for our, uh, the Lamb of God taking on that cross so that we could have eternal life if we believe. But let's show our fellow believers out there and other people how to be a true Christian. We're going to make mistakes, but we need to show it. Like it says at the end, but our primary calling is to demonstrate to our unbelieving world right there, the love and transforming power of Jesus Christ. Do others see him in you? We need to let those unbelievers see Christ in us. That's what's going to help our unbelieving world. You know, each and every one of us make a difference. We do. We make a difference. We may only be one person, but we are making a difference. We need to be his disciples. We need to follow him correctly. We need to walk as close to God as we can. 
and doing things and honoring God. And, and that's where people are going to see that in the unbelieving world, we could bring others to the Lord. The wisdom for today is, Lord, we want our love for you to be, an ev to be evident in all we say and do. Help us live our love in such a way that people are something different. And oh wait, I'm sorry. Let me reread that. I got my glasses on. It's hard to see. Lord, we want our love for you to be evident in all we say and do. Help us live our love in such a way that people see something different in us. And the testimony of obedient lives will draw others to you. Wow, that is great, great wisdom for today. Again, like I'm saying, we need to show them that. Because anybody can claim to be a Christian, but if they see that Christian faith in you, that's where it's going to make a difference. You know, that's where people are going to say that that woman, that man is definitely a Christian. Uh, there's just something different about that person. And we all fall. Like I said, I've had days where I'm like, why would I have talked that way? I'm ashamed of myself. Like, that is not me. That is not my Christian walk. But I'm not going to lie. I'm human. I make mistakes. We all do. But I want to try to strive the best that I can to be that Christian, to try to bring the unbelieving world to Christ, Christ even through just little old me. You know, as many people as I can help, I want to help. I want as many people, I want everybody to make it to heaven. And that's what God wants too. That's why he said he loved the whole world in John three sixteen to send his only son to die on a cross for us that we could have eternal life if we believe. So God loves us all. He loves every one of us. We want everybody in heaven, right? No matter what, we want everybody in heaven. So let's do our part and living in harmony, living in harmony, you guys, let's live in harmony. Let's live for God. Let's show him our true way of our Christian walk, and people will see that through us. What a great reading for my birthday. I love that. Let's start our day, go through our day, and end our day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. We're going to read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it, because it does no good if you just read it. If It does no good if you're not honoring it. It does no good if you aren't um, uh, honoring, living by it, um, reading it. You know, what good does it do if you're not going to honor it? Then it does no good. You might as well not even read it. We need to honor it. And I'm saying that to myself. Hope I can help somebody out there on, you know, on today, December 14th. I hope I saved a soul. I hope one of you guys got your, your salvation today and that you are heaven bound. You're heading to heaven when your time is up. Because right now, this is not our permanent home and it's not an easy world we live in. We all go through tough times. So we need to be kind and loving to everybody because we don't know what people are going through. We need to be kind. And like Anne would say in her videos um, from Dolls in the Cradle, um, she would say uh, that the smallest act of kindness does not go unnoticed. It doesn't. So just show your kindness and your love to everybody, you guys. Try to be as sweet as you can and show your Christianity through you so people can see that light shining through you as bright as the brightest star out there. Because as Jesus is in you, you're going to shine bright. Brighter than any star ever to be possible. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed those verses, those readings, and I hope you got your salvation today. And now I'm going to reveal my beautiful baby here, uh, gender, name, all of that. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, are we looking at another pickle? Yes, we are. Look at this beautiful baby boy. It's a boy, that's right. I was able to get a baby through Deborah Miller on Reborns.com. I wanted a baby through her so bad. You guys know I have another pickle, but this one is my birthday baby. We're gonna do something with the other one. This is the one that I am keeping and um, we'll, you know, the other one we'll, we'll just later on let you know what's going on with that one, um, if it's going up for sale or what I'm doing with it. But I really wanted one through Deborah, and I'm so excited it worked out. Her prices are phenomenal. Look her up. Deborah Miller, Reborns.com. This baby is 25 inches. The pickle is 25 inches and he weighs nine point, like two pounds. I weighed him when I got home. He's a wonderful weight. Uh, he's perfect in every way. And this is the beautiful outfit he was in in the photograph. Can you believe I was sent this beautiful outfit with the jacket, the mitts, the hat, everything. He is stunning. And I'm going to show you guys all of that when I do a video on him this week. I will show you all of his art. He is stunning. He is magnificent. He smells good. He's got that baby patch in him. So he smells good. You know, those baby patches they put inside to smell like a baby. He's painted to perfection. He's got painted hair. Just kind of give you a little peek of that real quick. But I'm going to show you everything about this baby in another video. But I just thought I would do a blanket reveal. Say, you know, come in. Tell you guys how much I love my pickle. My beautiful boy here. 
Yes, I love him so much, and I'm so happy that I was able to get this. God is so good and so great, and he blessed me to be able to get one through Deborah. At the time when I ordered the other one, um, Deborah didn't have one up for sale. I didn't know she was going to sell more. Um, Na uh, Lisa from Nanny's Reborn Nursery got one from her, and I wanted one so bad. I had contacted her, and she said, yeah, I do actually put them up about every other week or about every week I put them up. So definitely check out and watch for babies through her because her babies are phenomenal. She seals them with that wonderful texture. Uh, this baby's gorgeous. We'll take the little nook out just so you can see the mouth. He's got a suck, bump, everything. I'm going to go over everything, show you his nail beds, his toes, everything when we do a changing video on him. But I'll just show you what he came in. So it was the jacket, the mitts, everything. And there's a beautiful red little outfit. I'm going to show you up on the screen the photograph he was in, in the um, on the site on Reborns.com. And he was in this outfit. And oh my God, he is phenomenal. And I'm like, boy, I hope I get this outfit. I would just love it. The only thing I did get sent with him that was in the thing was the nook she had in. I made a nook for him, so that's fine. But the magnet was in his mouth. Um, and the lovey he was holding, and he had little red and white socks. So I just did little white socks at him. He came barefoot. But I, I'm not worried about socks and a lovey because we got a lovey for him. I'll show that in the next video. But isn't he gorgeous, you guys? He's weighted so well. His limbs and everything move so good. I mean, look at this, even with this big jacket on. How good his limbs move. I mean, he is phenomenal. His head, I mean, it just moves so great. He is a beautiful boy. The name, you guys. Now I can name reveal. Um, you know, because I had a name picked out for a boy or a girl with that other one. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a boy or a girl. Um, but like I said, we'll discuss that at another time with the other one. But this is the one that I'm holding on to. This is Gabriel Saint. Let's all welcome Gabriel Saint. I wanted to name him a Christmas name. And Gabriel just came to my head immediately. And he definitely looks like a Gabriel. So it'll be Gabe for short. But Gabriel, the archangel, you know. And it is Christmas time. Uh, the meaning of Christmas. Jesus came here. I mean, was born Christmas Day, and his sole purpose to come here was to die on a cross for us at the age of 33. So let's remember what Christmas is totally about. And yes, I just feel so blessed to have my beautiful Gabriel here, and I love him. Love him. You definitely got to get a baby through her. Prices are phenomenal on it. I mean, they these babies can go all the way up to 2400 You won't believe the prices on this one. So look her up and find yourself a great baby through her. I don't think she currently has one available right now, but she did recently just have one for about four days up. And it sold. I bought this one. And then after that, she put another one up. So she does put them up. So keep watching. Um, hopefully, she'll have more. Um, and I will show you his COA. My last one I got was number two. I'm going to stick it up on the screen because I don't remember. It was 200 and some. Two or 300 and some. I can't remember, but I'll stick it up on the screen. This one here is number 1450 of 3700. And I just love that um, wax you know, a uh, stamp on there that says Pickle by Nikki, John Nikki Johnston. That's who the pickle is by. He is a new sculpt, and they're only going to do 3700 I don't know where they're at, you guys, because a lot of people are saying it's sold out now. So it's hard to get this baby. Um, you know, people are making them still. They have them. They're painting them. They're putting them for sale. But get your hands on one, you guys. And I, like I said, um, mine might possibly go up for sale, the other one, or something else. So We'll see. I'll let you guys know. But yes, I'm just excited to share this beautiful boy with you guys and what he came with. Isn't that nice what she sent him in? Even for his price, I couldn't believe what he came in. He is so stunningly gorgeous. So I am going to do, like I said, a video on him. He's tilted to the side, so the nook wants to slide. I think I don't I don't think I made this magnet very good because his magnet mouth is perfect. I don't know what is going on right now. Sometimes it sits on here so perfectly. And sometimes it slides. I think it's because he's sliding. I mean, because he's sitting at an angle. That's okay, right? We're not going to worry about that. We'll just, it does work, you guys. You saw it in when I came on. I don't know what's going on. I think mommy just made the, the nook wrong. Yeah, I just made it wrong. I'll have to fix that nook to match up with his mouth because his mouth is perfectly lined up. And I think I put it on there a little bit to the side. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this blanket reveal, enjoyed the uh, verses, enjoyed being in here for my birthday with my beautiful birthday baby. Whoops. I'm going to give him a kiss. Mwah. I'm trying to reach over all this. Mwah. Happy birthday to me, right? Say you're my birthday present and you're the best. Mwah. Love him so much. I love all of you guys as well. Thank you for all the birthday wishes that you guys have already wished me. And I know there's going to be more. So thank you so much. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my birthday. Yesterday was Minnie's birthday. She shares a birthday the day before mine. And I had a video up of her uh, singing to her and all her toys. We do it every year for her. Would have been up yesterday, um, Wednesday. And um, a different video you guys would have got, I think, if I would have had another video up. But anyways, I pre-record all these videos. So I just don't remember what I did yesterday. If I put another video up or not. I don't remember. 
Why do I not remember? <laughs> well, anyways, I know I put minis up. All right, you guys, everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Gabe's going to blow you guys a kiss. Mwah. He loves everybody. I love everybody. Mwah. And I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my birthday now with this beautiful birthday baby. Bye-bye, everyone. Everyone take care and God bless.